My name's Takumi Chiwata. I work for a parts manufacturer with about 50 employees. The next step is, well, let's set aside an extra 10 minutes for the work. I work at the factory, but I also create and manage processes, as well as deal with customers who come to the factory. As we are a small company, I have a wide range of work to do. I've been in a managerial position since this year. Chiwata-kun, here's today's new order. Also, a client wants it done sooner. What? I've just organized a schedule together. So, how soon? She's Akane Nagasaki. She's a sales admin and a former classmate of mine. She's actually the daughter of the president of this company. <laughs> oh, that's tough, isn't it? So, they're wondering if we could do it in two weeks. Huh, two weeks, huh? Well, my main job is to coordinate the factory's working hours and the customer's delivery dates. But sometimes, there's a person who comes up to me and says nasty things. The customer is God, right? Just do it. Emiko Oksa. She's my classmate and currently works at a major trading company. She's in charge of dealing with my company from this year, and uses her position as a major customer to tell me things from above. But medical equipment requires special processing. You want that in just a week? We are a customer who placed a large order. You know what that means, right? But it's still unreasonable. We have orders from other companies too. That's your problem. It has nothing to do with me. Hey, Emika, aren't you a bit too cruel? Akane also tells her to protest. Cruel? I'm just negotiating for work. This woman, how can she say that? I swallowed those words and instead... Understood. Even if you can't do it in a week, we'll make adjustments so that it can be delivered within a short period of time. <laughs> That's how you should behave. I'm counting on you, Chiwata-kun. With that, Emika Uksa left. <sighs> she really hasn't changed. <sighs> You're right. <sighs> Uksa left, and we sighed. Yes, Emika Okse has never changed. She's a woman who prides herself on being superior to others. She is the daughter of the president of a well-known trading company, and it seems that her father is also spoiling her. A great person once said that the only people you should shoot are those who are prepared to be shot. I'll borrow that person's quote and say this. The entire world should serve me. <laughs> She's a person with an arrogant pride who can say such lame anime lines in real life. But I feel like she's a little better than before. Kinda. Compared to the harshness of her student days, she has grown, though very little. I guess? Well, since she's the daughter of the president of a large trading company, we can't ignore her. Was it okay for you to respond like that? Well, I purposely avoided mentioning a clear deadline. I'll deal with her properly. Huh. Ha ha ha! You're so patient! If it were me, I would have yelled at her and chased her away. Her factory manager came out and patted me on the back. With this body, he's 69. The world is strange. M manager, it hurts. <laughs> it's true that it's your and our job to work closely with our clients and adjust delivery dates. But it is not possible to deal with everything. So. Remember that it's also your job to say no when necessary, no matter who the client is, okay? Ah, oh, I realize it just now. There's a possibility that other clients' delivery dates may be at risk. Ugh, oh, but you're doing a good job of coordinating things so that we don't have to work too much overtime. 
that's your talent. But if you're really in trouble, I'll do something about it. After saying that, the factory manager returned to work enthusiastically. The next day, as usual, I stand in front of everyone and explain today's workflow. Today, I would like you to work in four groups. Group A will continue from yesterday. I explain the work details and assign workers according to their skills. Ichifu-san is off today. Ah, got it. I'll come in to help then. Ugh, it's the worst. I sit down in my office chair looking tired. By the way, it's only 10 a.m. Oh? Aren't you supposed to be helping on site this morning? Injection molding machine. Oh, um, one of the resin processing machines isn't working properly. I think it needs repair. Wow. That sounds like a headache. It is. I have to reorganize everything. And if it's a repair... Ah, uh, Emika? We both let out a deep sigh at the same time. It is common for large machines like injection molding machines to be ordered directly from the manufacturer or through a trading company. This time, it's the latter. So, what's wrong with it? Emika Oksa came to see the machine. She's bossy as usual. It can't mold properly. It gives off weird shapes. Is there any way we can get it to work again ASAP? I'm in trouble. Ah, then the heater that melts the resin must have deteriorated. I'll contact the manufacturer. Can I take a photo? She's surprisingly efficient in everything from identifying the cause to dealing with it. She can do her job. I just wish she wasn't arrogant. She then sent a photo to the manufacturer and immediately contacted them. They have the parts so they can come tomorrow. I'll give you a preliminary estimate. Really? That helps. Thanks. It's still too early to feel relieved because what I said might not be the case. Well... It's not bad to be thanked by you in any case. Now express your gratitude more! Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Honestly, if she wasn't like this, I would have honestly thanked her. However, it is true that it helped. Oh? So they're coming to see the machine tomorrow. That's good. Yeah, but the schedule is messed up. It's still a headache. Plus, I have to fill in for those who are absent. There is a lot to do. Uh, that can't be helped. Thank you for your hard work. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Nagasaki-san, by the way, your next day off, are you free? Uh, huh? Yeah! I really wanted to try this couple's only parfait ones. On a day off, the place I came to with Akane was a sweet shop. That's right, I have an extreme sweet tooth. During holidays, I often go eat sweets. What the heck? I thought you were asking me out on a date. Well, it still is a date, right? It's just that the limited edition parfait has a higher priority. 99% of your love goes to this parfait, doesn't it? Huh? After enjoying the sweets, I leave the store super satisfied. Well, as expected of a couple's only parfait, I'm so satisfied. My body and soul are healing fast. Couple, huh? Hey, I have to ask. What kind of relationship do we have? Huh? We are friends, right? Oh, and my co-worker, employer's daughter, and my former classmate. Uh, okay. So you go eat a couple's only parfait with someone you don't even like? Well, their requirement was to be a male-female pair. That's it. I had no idea what she's thinking. I looked at her questioningly, and she was trembling with clenched fists. 
and pissed. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? A guy kind of suddenly attacks me and starts stretching my cheeks. Shut up! Why can't you understand how girls think? I wonder how far they can stretch. <laughs> No good, Akane Nagasaki. That kind of half-hearted laughter isn't good enough. When I turned around, Emika Okusa was standing there with her usual arrogant attitude. Well, I will show you an example. If I'm the goddess of beauty, you're just an NPC. If I am a rose full of passion and elegance, you're a trampled weed. We are just fundamentally different. <laughs> you have to laugh this much, okay? Why would I do that? So, why are you here in a suit on Saturday? I cut her off and asked her a question. Of course I have work. I'm going to talk to a major medical device manufacturer. Huh. Once the order is decided, I will order the parts from you. I will be expecting a quick delivery. After saying that, she waves her hand and leaves. Seriously, I get tired when I talk to her even for a split second. I really don't care about anything else anymore. As Oksa left, we started to feel tired. It's mental fatigue. Even though she can do her job, that attitude is really is something. Well, it's been a few weeks since then. The special parts that Oksa ordered yesterday were shipped too. Whoa, everyone did their best. Oh, these parts finally arrived! If so, I can replace it! Today, as I was adjusting the work schedule as usual, a female colleague burst into the office. Hey, Jiwada-san! Injury! The factory manager got injured! What? It seems that two newcomers pushed the trolley with all their strength and ran over the factory manager. Ugh. Now you know what will happen if you don't think seriously about safety in the factory. And during the pain, he gives a listen to the newcomers. They sincerely apologize to him. Hey, anyway, let's go to the hospital! Huh, <laughs> such a small injury, I can't... Uh, uh, no, I can't. It hurts like hell. Well, about that time, Okusa also had a pale face while on the phone. Coincidentally, she was also in trouble. And the next day, I was surprised to hear about my temporary appointment. Oh, I'm the acting factory manager? Yep. The factory manager will not be able to come to work for a while. And he nominated you. You can coordinate everything in the factory. The factory manager was training you to be the next factory manager to begin with. I'll leave everything to you, so he said. So, any objections, everyone? If not, give Chiwata Kun a round of applause. And everyone at the factory started applauding me. Congratulations! This means that you are officially recognized as the acting factory manager. Just like that, I became the acting factory manager. Since then, I became extremely busy as the acting factory manager. Well, surprisingly, that was not the case. We have a lot of experienced part-time workers, so we're doing just fine. 
The acting factory manager is responsible for overall coordination and responsibility. We will do the rest. Just like that, they were actively helping me. When I told Akane about this, she sounded impressed. <laughs> Everyone loves you, don't they? That's a good thing. A company operates as an organization, so I think it's great that we can collaborate like that. It really is a blessing. Well, I have to make all sorts of adjustments, though. So, will everything be delayed? Yeah, I'll do something about the existing orders, but I'm thinking of refusing new ones for a while. Oh? You've managed to squeeze them all in until now, though. That's because the factory manager was here. I still can't command as well as him. That's why I'm gonna play safe. If we fail, our clients will be in trouble. But life doesn't go as planned. Huh? Make the same amount as the other day in three days? It's impossible. It requires special processing. That evening, I picked up the facts that had come through and let out a sigh. It's from Emika Oksa. The office clerks. Uh, they've all gone home, huh? I put a sticky note asking the admins to reply to them at one month delivery and went home that day. And the next day in the afternoon, I knew she was gonna come. Hey, you are going to deliver my order in a month? What the heck is going on? I am a customer. As I said before, a customer is God, right? In other words, we are feeding you, so just deliver ASAP. I felt irritated by her careless words. Hey, I've been holding back only because I know you for a long time, but enough is enough! W what is it shouting all of a sudden? You always say selfish things like you are the boss. Think about her circumstances too. The delivery date this time is non-negotiable. There is no way we can make such complicated parts in three days. You should know that. If you need fast delivery, order from another company. We won't do it. I said so and kicked her out. But as time passed, I regretted saying too much. Oh, what a selfish thing have I done. <laughs> Where is the spirit from earlier? Well, don't worry about it. Even if we end our deal with Emika's company, we'll be fine. I mean, I think that girl needed someone to seriously scold her once. I mean, <laughs> that order was for those special process part, right? Wha why do you look so evil? Order from another company. We won't do it. Very nice, chiwata -kun. <laughs> she was smiling triumphantly. Now, let's take a look at what happened to Emika Oksa. Uh, what was that? It's me who is ordering from them just because I know them for a long time. Out of mercy. Fine. I'll cut the deal with them. They will regret this. Oh, hi. I would like to request a new order. Huh? You can't. The responses she got were harsh. We don't have the technology to manufacture this. Take it somewhere else. Are you asking us to violate a patent? Stop joking around. We are a manufacturer that processes many parts. That includes specially processed parts for medical devices. And the parts in question require advanced engineering and durability, especially in artificial joints. Since it uses new technology exclusive to our company, we have a patent for it. So, it is impossible to manufacture it elsewhere. What does that mean? You have made the mistake, right? And yet, not only do you not have the delivery date, but you can't make the arrangements? She apparently told the customer what happened, but... I told you, right? 
People with walking difficulties are waiting for the latest artificial joints. It is true that we providers cannot see the patient's faces, but I do my work with pride. <sighs> Two days later, I finished work today and was about to leave the office. Thank you for your hard work. I'll get going. Whoa! Oh, Oksa? Just when I thought something was wrong, she suddenly lowered her head. Help me, please. I was shocked. That always arrogant Amika Oksa is crying. Why? But I said such a cold word to her because I don't understand what she's thinking. I'm causing trouble because of me. There are people waiting for artificial joints, but... You know, do you understand that every time you set something unreasonable, you cause trouble to me and a lot of other people too? She looks shocked at my words. It seems she really hasn't given a thought about that. Ah, oh, she must be so spoiled that she never learned how society works. No way! Then, if it was a nuisance, you should have said so. You can't tell that to customers so easily. I mean, you're the one who was taking advantage of that position. <sighs> I understand. I'll help you this time. Huh? But the delivery time of three days is not possible. Even ten days is barely possible. But we'll make it happen. Tell your customer that. But this is the last time I'll help you. If you try to be bossy again, I'll seriously cut you off. sure it doesn't happen again. And I was thinking in my head how to make this happen. Well, the factory suddenly became busy because of that. I'm sorry. If anyone is able to work overtime for about two hours today, please do. I put Okusa's orders at the end of the daily process and asked people to work overtime. Products manufactured up until now will be shipped in installments after inspection. As the acting factory manager, I gave instructions to everyone. Then, surprisingly, in eight days, I was informed that all the items had been shipped. Thank you very much. It was really helpful. The delivery date even sooner than expected. Uh, your mouth is twitching, you know. It, it, it can't be helped. I'm still consciously trying my best to be polite. Wow, so it was true that Emika had a change of heart. I finally understood why my father made me work in sales. I guess he was expecting others to scold me and let me grow as a person. Hey, wait! It's your father who should scold you first. Why did he leave that to others? He just can't stop spoiling me. The result is me. So, I'm thinking of leaving home. So, I want you to feel free to get angry with me in the future whenever I'm at fault. As my friends. It seems like she really wants to change. And naturally, we were all laughing together. By the way, as for Emika Oksa's father... Well, I'm so happy that my daughter has grown up so much! Who helped my daughter grow up? I'm deeply sorry. Well, running the company and growing up his daughter, it seems that he was severely scolded by the executives for bringing his personal matter to business. I will leave here to grow more. I will do my best in an environment where I will not be spoiled. Furthermore, as Emika decided to move out of his house, he cried tears of despair. Now, let's talk about what happened after that. First, the factory manager. I'm retiring. It's hard to keep going at this age. 
Uh, factory manager? Have you, like, deflated? The factory manager healed his broken bone, but he became so weak that he retired. So, I've officially become the factory manager. Emika has also reflected on herself and is consciously changing herself. We are negotiating the delivery date for this and this. If you could please do something... Huh, maybe I'll think about it for a while before replying. Is that okay? She still comes to negotiate delivery dates in person. She seems to enjoy meeting me in Akane. By the way, she gets lots of orders for us so happily, as if she's our agent or something. Since her personality, which was her only flaw, has been corrected, she's a superwoman now. And that superwoman apparently likes me. Be the one eating the couple's only cake with Chiwacha kun. I've always loved him, I will! Sometimes, such disputes break out! Which, Which one, one of us will you choose? choose? And this is how it always goes. <laughs>